Hi, hello everybody. Welcome again to One Question a Day. And we are going to see the cells of the pulp today. The cells of the pulp are seen in the three layers. First is the odontogenic zone, which is bordering near to the pulp, followed by cell-free zone and the cell-rich zone, which forms the core of the cell. Odontogenic zone is the one that has the vital odontoblastic cells that secretes the dentin and borders with the dentin pulp complex. Immediately subadjacent to the odontogenic zone is a zone that is devoid of any cellular element is called also called as veil zone. It's also called as veil zone or a cell-free zone. Next is the pulp core or the cell-rich zone. This is going from the dentin to the pulp. The odontogenic zone contains the dentin form cells called as the odontoblast and the veil zone is a space in which odontom Last move pulpward during the tooth development and even with the dentin formation. During the early stages of tooth development, this space, the veil zone is biggest, but as age increases, the, this zone becomes very small. The cell rich zone contains, or the cell rich zone or the, and the subsequent pulp core contains cells as well as formed elements and the intracellular substance. Intracellular substance. The cell includes ubiquitous fibroblasts, which are the most numerous cells, a large number of undifferentiated mesenchymal cells, part of odontoblast, defense cells, and pulp stem cells. The intracellular substance are made up of the fibers, mostly coll uh, collagen secreted by the fibroblast, blood vessels, lymph vessels, nerves, nerve endings, and receptors such as forming the plexus of rash curves. Fibroblasts are stellate shaped cells and comma shaped cells with extensive process joined by the intracellular junctions. Numerous of them are present in the pulp. The stellate shape come from the difference of the pulling effect and post-operative. Usually they are a comma shaped or a S shaped cells. Fibroblasts are S shaped elongated twisted S shaped cells. But when tissue processing happens, they are pulled apart and the extensive process joined by the intracellular junctions are retained, giving them a stellate cell. There are numerous fibroblasts present in the pulp and they have abundant Golgi apparatus, rough endoplasmic reticular because they are active collagen formations. Often, the older pulp, they become more round or spindle or mature into spindular fibroblasts. The young fibroblasts are stellate cells. We progress in age, become spindle or late round with less cell organelles. They are become what we call it as fibrocytes. The undifferentiated mesenchymes are found in young pulp, larger than fibroblast and are typically polyhedral. They have a totipotent ability, meaning they can give rise to various kinds of cells and our undifferentiated mesenchymal cells can different into fibroblast, odontoblast, or macrophages. To that fact, any kind of cells. Odontoblasts are the second numerous cells present in the pulp. They are columnar cells with large nucleus and cell organelles, have a cell body, cell process. Cell body is present in the pulp nearer to the predentin. Processes extends as odontoblastic processes into the dentinal tubules. Draw a neat diagram saying the junctions connected by tight junction and about 5 to 7 micrometers in thick, and the entire process is about 25 to 40 micrometers in thick. Active odontoblasts are involved in the formation of dentin. Cell body is elongated, has a very prominent nucleus and numerous cell organelles, along with a prominent cytoplasm. Rest, resting odontoblasts in adults are older cells with stable cell body, dark stained nucleus with few or less intracellular organelles. And in the adolescent, say somewhere 18 to 40, there is a transitional cell stage. Then we have different different cells, including histiocytes, dendritic static cells, plasma cells, macrophage cells, mast cells, lymphocytes, all exhibiting typical morphology that is found in other ways in human bodies and are associated with different mechanisms. The pulp cells or pulp stem cells are a part of the undifferentiated mesenchymal cells that can undergo proliferation and migrate to injury sites and can produce any other 
organs, namely the odontoblast, nerves, or fibroblast. And often these stem cells are prominently seen in the inflamed pulp. And they appear as round nucleus with dark staining, granular cytoplasm. Clinical significance is these cells are actively can be used harness to create tooth one. Number two, are a rich source of stem cells. Number three, pulp stem cell banking has evolved from third molar tooth. Number four, in pulpitis, these cells, different cells are enlarged. So with that, we come to the end of discussion on the cells of the pulp. Stay connected with this channel for more questions and till we meet again, happy incremental learning.